Hey everybody, this is Barbie Lee with the best breakfast ever, having up, finishing up my shake this morning. Look at my cup, not a day over fabulous. That's how I feel every morning when I have my best breakfast ever. Mm, mm, mm. Today is chocolate, rich chocolate with French vanilla, blended with ice and it tastes just like a Frosty from Wendy's. Like it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm eating a Frosty from Wendy's. I know, not really, but it's so good for you. 240 vitamins, minerals, nutrients. I don't even know what the heck's in here. But it is so good. Complete meal for like $3.25 Canadian. Like, come on. Oh, and by the way, until July, what are we at? The end of the week here, July 22nd, free, free membership for qualifying orders. So if you haven't started yet, get freaking started. Okay, one more drink. Mm. 150th food, healthiest foods on earth. This is what we're doing. And today we are on cauliflower. Can I tell you how much I love cauliflower? Two things I love about cauliflower. One is raw, it's crunchy, and it's just, and it, and it's just like goodness crunchy. And number two, when I bake it in the oven with some spices and I put on buffalo sauce, it tastes like hot wings without the chicken because I'm vegetarian. I love it. All right. So here's what it says about cauliflower. Now, we've been hearing a lot about this brassica family, right? The broccoli, the broccolini, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it, it, it's, it's a potent cancer fighter. I love this. It says, traditionally, we hear about eating all the colors and things in white. We shouldn't eat, like, too much of potatoes and white bread and stuff like that. <laughs> they put Twinkies in here. I like that. Um, but it says, there are three whites you should eat. White fish, mushrooms, and cauliflower. That's what we're talking about today. Cauliflower. Look how pretty that cauliflower is. Right? I love cauliflower. All right. So it says, how does cauliflower fight cancer? It says, well, within minutes of being eaten, the sulforane, I uh, think it's wrong, sulforaphane, enters the bloodstream and turbocharges the body's antioxidant defense system. When it reaches the cell, phase two detoxification enzymes in the liver, which then disarms the carcinogens, or sorry, carcinogenic molecules and help remove them from the cells. Okay, so seriously, detoxifying, Removes the carcinogens from the cells. Hello, eat cauliflower. Now, you can make fake mashed potatoes with cauliflower. Oh, my God. So I'm at Costco the other day, and they have a bag of shredded cauliflower. And it, there was a recipe on it, cauliflower pizza crust. I was like, seriously? I didn't buy it because I'd have to eat the whole pizza by myself because my kid isn't here. And no, my, no, my husband doesn't eat cauliflower cooked. He oh, I wonder if I made it into a pizza. Would he even know? <laughs> don't tell them I might I might go back and do that anyway so it says how to make fake mashed potatoes a cup of cauliflower is ridiculously low in calories contains three grams of fiber as well as over 50 milligrams of vitamin C and hundred and seventy six milligrams of potassium and 56 milligrams of folate so the vegetable gets a much deserved boost in popularity thanks to dr. Arthur Eggleston it's become known as the fabulous fake mashed potatoes okay so you can totally mash cauliflower in the place of potatoes. A little butter. Ooh, lemon. I never put lemon in my cauliflower potatoes. Ha! Huh. And sea salt. It's beyond delicious. So going to do that. Of course, my friend and fellow author, Dana Carpenter, was making faux taters. Ha! Huh. Way before the South Beach diet became popular. All right. So along, now this is worth knowing. I love these little side bits, right? Because it's like these little green ones over there. Oh, did you see a sneak peek of what's next? Along with all the good stuff it contains, cauliflower also contains purines, a feature it shares with a number of very healthy foods, including sardines and spinach. Usually it's not a pro problem. We break down purines with uric acid to get rid of it. But in some people, the mechanism doesn't work exactly right. Uric acid builds up and causes painful episodes of gout. So such patients are advised to limit foods with purines. And though cauliflower isn't a amount that's moderately high, you should be aware of it. So if you're noticing that cauliflower is a little bit upsetting, don't eat as much, but still add just a little bit to your diet. All right? So cauliflower, right? Now remember, I've been telling you guys about the best breakfast ever, and I said already that we have free shipping until, or free membership until July 22nd, right? We're in 2018, in case you're watching this a year later. And what's really great about it is we have products like these what, our greens that pretty much all of these are in our greens and our fruits. So anyways, just saying. So 150 healthy foods on earth. Snapshot. All right, everybody, have a great day. If you are not enjoying your best breakfast ever yet, if you've watched this at lunch, make it your best lunch ever or your best dinner ever or your best after workout special drink ever. I don't care. Just drink 
be freaking drinks. Have a great day, everybody.